Hi, I'm Steve Handy from Sunseeker Brokerage and today I'm bringing you a video on a boat we've listed exclusively for sale in Portugal, lying in Villamora. We're actually in Albufeira Marina right now. We've headed out just to do some filming underway to show you what this boat's like at sea. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about this 2009 iconic Sunseeker. So 86 yacht, for those of you that don't know, was an evolution of the 82 yacht, which was one of Sunseeker's most successful larger boats of that generation in the early to mid 2000s. That model line evolved into this 86 yacht, which did become an 88, which eventually became an 86, back to an 88, which is where she is now. But this is a 2009 model. She's fitted with the Caterpillar C32 A certs, 1800 horsepower each. She's a five cabin version. We'll talk about that more in a minute, um, but this is a quite a unique boat to have five uh, guest cabins, sleeping cabins. Um, she is Spanish owned, she's flying a Spanish flag, pointing it's on the flybridge, um, and we're going to give you a full tour of this boat. But the first thing I wanted to talk about are these Caterpillar engines. At the time they were available also with an MTU, this particular boat was fitted with the 1800 C32s, and these engines sound absolutely stunning. Let's have a listen. C32A certs. We'll talk to you later on about slow cruising and how this boat is completely versatile so you can have very comfortable stable cruising at slower speeds very economical or with these big V12 engines and this planing hull iconic hull from Sunseeker you can have fast speeds. So let's go on a tour guys. So we're starting our tour up here on the foredeck space and I wanted to demonstrate to you what a huge area this is um, just talk some engineering. So the boat's fitted with twin anchors. So she's got a, an 80 kilogram anchor and a 50 kilogram anchor and a lot of galvanized chain up here. The owner tells me that she holds in all sorts of conditions. Um, Teak is fitted on all of the outside deck spaces. Got big um, bollards here for your mooring lines. But from a guest perspective, this is one big, huge entertaining space. Massive sun pad here you can get at least four to five of you lay side by side. Um, nice, I'm guessing this is a storage locker in here for, yeah, big storage locker in here for all sorts of boating paraphernalia. Both speakers up here, so we've got sound system. Um, and I'm loving the fact that you've got forward facing seat here with a table so I can put drinks. I've got drink holders here, drink holder here. You know, this is a really lovely entertaining area and this gives you another very separate space on board a boat of this size. So you've got privacy from guests who are perhaps on the flybridge. But let's go and show you the flybridge and what a big boat this is outside. A design feature that's really important that we talk about here on this Sunseeker are these high bulwarks and safety rails. I feel really safe here. If I'd got kids or dogs on board, or of course, you know, anybody that's, that feels a little bit nervous at sea, you can see we're underway. I feel completely safe. I'm not wearing a life jacket. Admittedly, we are filming. Not everybody would want to do that but this feels a really enclosed safe space. I love these C32 A certs, that noise. And I don't know whether you picked up on the camera that with this Sunseeker, you've got these beautiful moldings down the side to create this really pretty shape. And here we are in the aft cockpit where we started and what a, what a space. Huge dining table here with freestanding director chairs, patio door here. This opens up fully into this section here but this really is a very lovely space here. And you know what? Look at this view. Being on a boat, this is the thing that dreams are made of. This is slow cruising speed, but what a stunning, stunning place to be. Just look at that view here in Portugal, beautiful. Right, let's head on up to the flybridge. Love this door here on this Sunseeker. So it gives you weather protection in the aft cockpit. If you've got bad weather, it means the water's not gonna go down there. But a safety thing, if you're all up here, you close the door, you're not gonna fall down the hole. I love on this flybridge that it's an open deck here. Um, this particular owner's got freestanding sun loungers, but a lot of space here. You know, this is a big entertaining platform. For those buyers who are wondering, could you put a jacuzzi up here? Could you have flybridge moldings up here? DM me and we can discuss that um, privately. Um, but what a lovely, lovely space. Again, these sexy moldings here, which just create something dynamic in terms of design. So as you can see, we've got a bar here, 
bar stools, seating over here, you would move the freestanding director's chairs from the half cockpit up here so that you could seat uh, comfortably 10 people around this table. Um, and more sunbathing forward. Um, this wet bar moulding here, and here you've got um, refrigeration, ice maker, sink and barbecue, and then your second helm station. Captain has moved downstairs for the video here, so you can see it just gives you that flexibility as an owner. If you didn't want the crew captain in your space and you were entertaining with guests up here, then they would be driving from the helm position below. Or if you want that wind in the hair sensation and you want to be driving yourself up here. We have had the owner on board today filming, driving whilst we've been filming, and he loves driving from this particular position. But of course, a Flybridge motor yacht like this, this is the, the piece de la resistance. This space up here just gives you so much entertaining area and on this particular boat she's got the stainless steel frame bimini so you've got protection from the sun hopefully that shows you everything outside let's go on down inside the boat and show you the accommodation space so we're in the saloon dining area now so you can see lots of seating here um, lovely around this central coffee table configuration american walnut throughout here you've got an electric high low tv um, and dining here for eight the ceilings nice to see that these are vinyl not alcantara so you've got some reflection here of light but what a big space this is i can imagine being entertained here or entertaining guests we've got a bar here behind the cameraman which is where you'd store all your glassware and fine crockery and served really closely by the galley here but this is six and a half meter beam here on this 86 yacht and you can see here this really is a very gorgeous contemporary space let's carry on looking through the boat Amazing feature here on this 86 yacht has always been this huge staircase here, this almost spiral staircase. But it's a very grand space, very grand entrance down to the accommodation space. Beautiful stainless steel handrails that are sculpted and shaped all the way around. But this makes this boat feel really super yacht sized boat, super yacht feel. Um, galley here is again big for the size of the boat. Sunseeker are renowned for maximizing interior volume it's one of the things one of the design innovations that everybody has always talked about on a sunseeker that when you go on board a sunseeker they always feel much bigger than the size describes and this galley reflects that let's have a look wow what a lovely appointed galley so as i said big spaces on this boat i'm closing this door to show you so if you were in here and you were either crew or owner but wanted some separation from guests with this door closed, we've got a really nice enclosed space here. We've got three windows on the side deck, so I can see out to see, I can see we're moving, but I've got light, lots of natural light coming into this space, so it's not an oppressive galley. This is, really is a beautifully appointed space. But of course, if it's crew, and your crew want to descend to the back part of the boat, rather than having to walk through the middle of the boat and disturb guests out this side deck door here and out down to the back of the boat. So I love that feature on this boat. Um, lots to talk about in here. She's got a big American fridge free Bosch American fridge freezer, um, Whirlpool dishwasher. We've got a nice um, Bosch electric oven and hob and big extraction. Obviously, the key thing here is not getting smells throughout the boat. But actually, this galley feels in really, really good condition. I would have expected for a 2009 boat there'd be chips in the galley top, scratches on the lacquer finishes, but not at all. This I would say is a galley that hasn't been used extensively because it certainly doesn't feel like a boat with a 16-year-old galley. So lovely silver uh, lacquered front fronts, um, love the granite tops, just feels as you would expect of a boat of this size, luxurious but in very, very good condition in here. Um, let's go through, I want to point out that we've got a day head on the main deck here, which is really nice. So Sunseeker offered a variety of layouts in this space. On this particular boat, this is the access way through to the master cabin, which we'll show you. You've got a nice big day head on here with a lovely big window. Um, again, lovely marble finish and uh, granite tops, stunning here, um, and a big helm here. This really has a bigger boat feel. Um, I'm loving this door open. Again, like I mentioned in the galley, crew wanting to access the back part of the boat. They haven't got to go through the boat. They can go out the side and round. Um, I don't know whether the cameraman can capture that, that we, we've got the sea bristling past us as we're cruising. Only at a um, slow speed, we're doing 10 knots here. But this boat feels absolutely stunning at these slower speeds, as well as fast speeds. This is a planing hull, this is a Sunseeker. She'll do get up at, with these Caterpillar engines up at over 24 knots. Um, but just talk through some of the functionality here. A track system. So this was an American system that Sunseeker fitted hydraulic 
bow and stern thruster. That's these two big joysticks here. Track fin stabilizers. So this is all on one big hydraulic system, which essentially takes its power, hydraulic power, either from the main engines, the shaft spinning in the main engines, or from an electro hydraulic pack on the generator. And it's all automatically done. So once the captain switches on the track system, he's always going to have generators running on a boat of this size. As soon as he turns off the engines, they're automatically powered by the generators. So you've got seamless stabilization power. And of course, when the engines are running, he can also run his track bound stern thruster. It just means that with them being hydraulic at this size, he can control this boat in close quarter maneuvering in some big winds and tides. So that's nice to see. Um, engine hours on here on these Caterpillar C32 A certs are just under 1600. So port engine over there is 1571. Um, generators, two of them are about 2000 hours. So actually quite low hours for a boat of this size. Beautiful Besanzoni leather electric seats here. These are really lovely. Raymarine VHF, obviously you've got um, chart plotter and radar here from Simrad. Um, interesting to point out here, we're doing burning about 45 litres uh, an hour on each engine, so about 90 litres here at this 10 knot cruising speed. Um, and with these track stabilisers on, we're not getting any roll, so it's very comfortable on here. I'm not having to shout to talk to you, I've even got the door open here to see, but you've got a, a, a relatively low noise from the engines. But remember, it's, it's the beam roll that makes passengers feel sick. These track stabilisers are stopping that beam roll. Can't stop pitch. We have got a slight beam swell today, but we're not rolling at all. I feel very comfortable and at 90 litres an hour, you could be on here for a really long time. And I, I hope that I'm conveying that on camera, that for those buyers who want to benefit from Sunseekers long distance cruising ranges at slower speeds with these fin stabilisers, you can do that. We will demonstrate speed later. She's a planing hull, she's a Sunseeker with these big 1800 horsepower Caterpillar engine. She will, she will get up and go fast. We'll demonstrate that. But importantly here, you've got a nice seating area to port so owners or, or co-pilot could sit and relax here and soak up the miles. But this is the access way into the master cabin. So let's show you now where the master is on this five cabin 86 yacht. Wow, I love this staircase down to this cabin. So although she's not in the center part of the boat, she is still full beam. That private staircase makes this space feel very grand. Um, got owner's clothing in here, so I'm not gonna open the door, but um, I'll show you inside, I should say, but there's a big walk-in wardrobe here. Um, this is a big cabin for a master cabin. Um, love the fact that you've got big leather seating here. You've got vanity unit over on the starboard side, um, big 40 inch TV over here on this bulkhead. You've got a ceiling skylight um, for those people that wanted it. And of course that's an escape hatch as well in an emergency, but two big windows in the hull here. This feels like, again, of course it's an opulent space, it's finished with the American walnut, but this feels like a very acceptable space considering Sunseeker have compromised here and got five cabins in this 86 yacht. I don't feel like the owner's having to compromise. All of the cabins in the uh, centre part of the boat feel very big and have that versatility of twins or doubles. I, I would say for an 86, this is very well appointed. Five cabins, she'll accommodate 10 people with five bathrooms and finishing off in this space. Ensuite in here, by far the biggest cabin, nice big shower, um, really beautifully appointed as you would expect for an owner. So let's crack on with our tour. Wow, so this is rare. So a five cabin 86, as I've mentioned. So you would normally expect on the four cabin version, the owner's stateroom to be a full beam cabin down here. This boat is set up with four individual guest cabins. Um, big lobby, I mean this, space with this beautiful opulent American walnut satin finish is lovely. Um, I feel like I'm either in a big luxury home or a six star hotel suite but interestingly on this particular layout here you've got a laundry room in this area um, which is great when you're serving 10 guests having a individual washer and dryer that's in this space with a uh, an ironing board is, is great for those who are using it. Um, let's go into one of these cabins we've got one of them set up as a double one of the great features on a boat like this when you're at anchor or, or underway you actually get to see you've got such a panoramic vista here i almost feel like i can touch the sea as we're moving through the water that's a really that's the thing that dreams are made of for me on a boat that you're on the water and you can see it so clearly um, but let's talk about the cabin so this one's set up as a double i would say this is almost a queen size bed it's absolutely huge 
each of these four cabins has that functionality. American walnut throughout, lovely uh, vinyl panellings, lo lots of lovely touch points everywhere that make this feel really luxurious. Um, individual aircon controllers, and this is a um, dual cycle system, so it's either heating or air conditioning. You've got AV control in here, so each cabin's got its own uh, TV and sound. And then big en suite, um, huge shower in here. And all of the en suites in all of the cabins are exactly the same. So um, electric flush toilet, heated towel rails in each en suite, beautifully finished with lovely marbles, American walnuts, granite surfaces. Um, this is a lovely lo location down here. But remember, as I've said, this is a very unique layout. Very few of these 86s were built with this five cabin configuration. And this space down here feels really big for the size of the boat. Let's go and carry on our tour somewhere else. OK, so we're back at the helm. We're with Captain Miguel. Hi, Miguel. Hello. Um, and we're just going to show you some, uh, talk through some speed performance figures. So, Miguel, if you can, so you can hear her. She's lifting on up onto the plane straight away. Sorry, lifting up over onto the plane straight away. We're up at 18 knots straight away. We're consuming about 500 litres now. Um, 2,200 RPM, speed's increasing, 22 knots. Are you full speed, Miguel? Full revs? Yes. Yeah. So she's now up at 2,300 RPM. We're doing 25.6, 26 knots, and we're consuming a mighty 700 litres of an hour. But what a comfortable space. I mean, you can see the wake at the back end. So we know we're performing here on a boat an 86 foot boat that performs at this speed. But this really is a stunning boat and I wanted just to finish the video to show you, as I said earlier, you can cruise at slow speeds in a really stable way or you can take track stabilizers off and drive a still like a sun seeker with a planing hull doing 26 knots, 25 and a half knots at a very acceptable level. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, drop me a DM.